tonight. And Brooke, all areas in the Caribbean need to be on guard for barrel. That is right. This is a very powerful system. It went through rapid intensification just within the past 24 hours. Yesterday at this time, it was a Category 1. We are at a Category 4. Wind sustained at 130 miles per hour. It's moving to the west-northwest at 18 miles per hour. So pretty quickly, your pressure down to 960 millibars. So a very powerful system with the eye expanding there about 20 miles for a radius. You can see we have a lot of convection still with it, a very healthy hurricane and is expected to enter into the Caribbean Sea as early as Monday afternoon. Before then, though, becoming a very strong Category 4 hurricane with winds up to 145 miles per hour. And then eventually it's going to enter a more unfavorable environment as it does narrow in very close to Jamaica, weakening back down into a Category 3, eventually into a Category 2. So it's going to battle some wind shear in this area, which could help weaken the system as soon as it gets closer to the Yucatan Peninsula. Eventually, as it moves over land, it should weaken just a little bit. No threats for us here across South Florida, but friends that live in Mexico or even Texas all the way up to Louisiana really need to pay attention to the system that we are tracking. So here's the latest computer models. We have that agreement that it enters into the Caribbean Sea. And then eventually you start to see the model spread just a little bit there. That's because it's going to be on the more sheared side at around this point. So again, still something we're going to be looking out for for our friends out in the West. Now, another area that we're watching in the tropics, we have now tropical depression number three it has a very brief window be coming a tropical storm maybe as early as Monday morning. Next name on the list is Chris. And look where it's going to be making landfall. Very close to where tropical storm Alberto made landfall earlier this month. No impacts for us here in South Florida, but a very active late June is what we're seeing. So we have one depression, one major hurricane, and another area for tropical development uh, moved off the coast of Africa as a tropical wave. Now back at home, I am watching some scattered rain, couple of thunderstorms across South Florida and the Treasure Coast. Some of the heaviest of rain right now, right along northern Palm Beach County. When I come back, we'll take a look at that timing of that.